All right, what's up guys? Simon from BrittyBiz.com. If you saw my last video, I showed you this new uh, 1.5 inch OLED display and I really like it. So in this quick tutorial today, what we're going to do, we're going to connect two of them and I'm going to show you how to control them individually uh, using an Arduino. Uh, so let's check out the code, test it out, and then we'll be right back. All right, so let's have a quick look at the code we're going to use today. Uh, we're still using the UHG2 library that we used in the last tutorial to control both OLEDs. Uh, I have two tax switches. Uh, one will be used to increase the score on OLED 1 and the other one on OLED 2. Uh, two variables to hold the score and a center 1 and center 2. These will be used to center the score inside the OLED. They represent an X value. Uh, so for one number, 47 would be centered in the OLED, but it will change when we get to the main loop. So after that, we're initializing both libraries, uh, one for the OLED 1 and one for the OLED 2. Uh, so OLED 1, no rotation. The CS pin is connected to pin 10 on the Mega. DC is connected to 9 and reset is connected to 8. And OLED 2, still no rotation, but the CS pin is 11 now. DC is the same and reset is now 7. So that's the way we can write and control two OLEDs or more if you wanted to. Uh, then we get to the main setup. So both tech switches are using input pull-ups. I'm starting uh, the OLED 1. I'm setting the contrast or the brightness to 200. OLED 2, set contrast to 50. Now, why is there a difference here? This is the first OLED I've used, I've received. It's the one I've done the last tutorial with. And I've noticed that the, the next one that I receive is much brighter than this one. So to make it of equal brightness, I had to bring this one down quite a bit even though this one is very high. So depending on the OLED you receive, it might be brighter or uh, dimmer. You'll have to test it, uh, but you can adjust the brightness by doing this set contrast command here. Uh, then at the beginning, right before we do anything, pressing switches, uh, I want to display stuff on the OLED. So I choose a font of 17 to write player one. Uh, so this is setting the cursor X11. Uh, X and Y, then player one is being displayed. And then I'm drawing a rectangular frame at this area here to put a rectangular uh, frame around player one on the OLED. So this is X, this is Y, this is the size, height and size, and this is the radius of the rounded corners. Uh, then I'm switching fonts to a bigger font for the score. I'm using center one that was 47 at the beginning to center that uh, zero. Uh, score and 117 is the uh, Y value. Then I'm printing it, doing a, a rectangular frame for that one too, and sending the buffer to display. And I'm doing the same thing for OLED too. All right, so now we're getting to the main loop. So I'm checking if tax switch one is being pressed. If it is, I'm increasing the counter. If the counter now is between zero and nine, then the center stays the same, 47. Then I check if it went uh, over 9, so two digits now, so 10, between 10 and 99, that the center will be 32, so a little bit more to the left, so everything is centered again, the score, and then if it's over 100 and 999, then it moves to 12. This is only used so the score stays centered inside the OLED. Uh, and then I kind of do the same thing I did at the setup phase, so to choose the font, display player 1, rectangular frame, display score with the center 1 value depending on what happened here. And same thing for tech switch 2, for the OLED 2, and displaying the stuff. So there you go, that's the whole code, so I'm going to upload that and let's go test it out. All right, so I uploaded the code to the Mega right here. As you can see, there's quite a bit of connections. Uh, I remind you guys, if you want to see the connections more clearly, on my website, I always do a connection diagram uh, when I do tutorials here on YouTube. And you can check that out and you'll see where everything goes. And also there's more information and where you can download the libraries and stuff like that. So we're ready to go. This is the tax switch one, which will control OLED one. Tax switch two will control OLED two. So let me plug it in and see what happens. All right, so at the beginning, we're displaying player one, the score of zero, player two, score of zero. Works really well. So now, tax switch one will increase on OLED one, tax switch two will increase on OLED two. And when I go over nine, the center value changes, so everything stays centered. And as you can see, if I hold it, and it'll go over 100, and it will center again, so the uh, score is still centered. And there you go. Now, what happens, I'm just gonna reset, what happens if I hold both, both tech switches at the same time? So let's try it out. 
as you can see they're both increasing so there you go guys it works really well i'm probably going to use this setup in a future project that's coming up uh, very soon uh, but i love oleds they don't take a lot of power and they look good as well so now let's go back to the main camera and wrap things up all right so that was it for today guys hopefully you found this interesting uh keep in mind that the oled that we were using today are using spi communication i'm going to be doing another video for the i2c devices as well uh, so stay tuned for that uh, as always if you want more information uh, please check out my website i have connection diagrams libraries and you can copy the code there as well and uh, yeah so if you like my videos please subscribe thumbs up all that cool stuff and until next time my name is ivan and i hope to catch you guys real soon take care